Hello, welcome to the Muddy Puddle Teacher. My name's Sarah and this is a little intro video uh, for all of you that are going to be having us in for insect day training. So it's a bit of a prep video, just so um, you have a better understanding of what's going to happen on your day. Um, we appreciate this is very different probably to any other training that you've done before. Um, and it requires a little bit of preparation work so that your confidence levels are high on the day. So basically your session um, is going to happen between 9.30 and 3. You will have a lunch break um, and you'll have a morning coffee break and it's up to us whether we decide we're also going to have an afternoon break as well. We can end a little bit earlier. Uh, but that's the days of structure. Um, there'll be some elements that are in, so we'll start inside. Um, it's very interactive what we do, so there'll be lots of group work, there'll be lots of idea making, There'll be some short presentations, video clips, audio books to listen to. We make sure that it's very interactive because that's what we believe in. We practice what we preach and we hope that we um, feed through that through our training so that you can go on and feed through that in your teaching when you're outside. So it'll be out uh, in in the morning, then we'll be out for a bit and then in the afternoon we'll be out for a bit and then inside for a bit. You may be outside between one and one and a half hours. Uh, believe me, you won't even believe you're out for that long, you'll be having that much fun. It's a really fun interactive day. When we take you outside, we're going to model to you the sessions that we would expect you to teach when you're outside. So we'll really model it right down from you being the pupils and us being the teacher. We'll show you how we methodically take those lessons outside. So you've got some real practical um, examples to go on so that you can continue your journey after us. Um, so dress for the weather, um, it's dependent on um, you know what, what month of the year you've got us in, um, so please ensure that you um, check the weather report and you wear what you need to necessary. Just think about the services that you've got out there as well. If you've got fields, make sure that you come in things that you're okay to get muddy in. We often use a lot of clay as well, um, so uh, don't come in your best clay. Um, so, We'll also be doing lots of group work activities. So be prepared to work with other key stages in year groups. We do try and mix you up uh, because it's, um, it's really valuable to just uh, spend some time with other key stage and the year groups. The EYFS early years departments will have been probably very well experienced at going outside, but definitely more experienced at doing child-led, interactive practical sessions so their knowledge is valuable to be able to feed through with ideas and generating ideas uh, right up till year six now when we get to key stage two don't freak out we're not going to make you use just natural resources like we do with the younger ones we are going to encourage you to take some um, more uh, practical steps forward so we're using any outy approach with our key stage two staff so we might encourage presentations in and there may be chunks of sessions outside and on our site we have resources to support you with that so we, we don't always use any worksheets in um, lower down school but we might encourage some outdoor worksheets as we move up a school just so we've got some structure to the, ses to the sessions sometimes and their content is a lot more in depth and we want to ensure that we're not just going outside to tick a box but we're going outside because we're enriching their experience their learning experience that they're remembering what they've learned they've enjoyed what they've learned because we know that has a powerful impact on their memory and understanding of subjects but we'll leave more of that for the day just the last thing some of your schools may have signed up uh, for you to be a subscriber to our resources as well so we'll just walk around that now for you you may get this before we come to you or it may be after it's whatever we've organized with the school on beforehand so this is the website as a nutshell this is your home page so as you move down, um, you'll see that there's a silver subscription, which is for resources only. So new resources will come on this little section here and you'll be able to see new um, things that are coming in. So we've just got some positional uh, language over there. We've got some leafy capital letters coming out, posters. We do a lot of outdoor resources, posters and things like that for you to help display. Um, outside and also to help children recognize tree names and things like that obviously what we're doing is a great big connection to nature 
and we had the training elements as well um, and down here the footers are quite helpful with navigating yourself around the site but the main bit is up here so we have the training hub now we're coming to do um, the inset training with you, which is levels one to four. So essentially you're doing this. We have some online customers as well that will subscribe online, such as our international schools to do it online. Um, so if you're a teaching assistant or a learning support assistant, you might want to go on to this after the training, or some of you might want to go on to the outdoor coordinators course. That's all available to you. We have lunchtime supervisor training as well. Uh, we also have outdoor continuous provision training. So they're all our specific CPD courses. We do also offer short courses. Uh, they're all there in the training hub too. So if you're, for instance, a history coordinator or English coordinator, math coordinator, whatever coordinator, there are some mini courses down here that can help you um, take your curriculum outside and how you can support staff taking their curriculum outside. So that's all there for you. And the vlogs are brilliant as well podcast and the vlogs are all practical and um, practical sort of like demonstrations of how to do things outside we've got the podcast which is all sort of getting um wonderful people in we've got Greg Botchel we've got um Juno Sullivan we've got some athletes on there we've got Mr Bloom from CBeebies we've got all sorts of different people that really believe in what the multiple teachers do and also provide uh, very nurturing books and um, extra advice just you know all of that wonderful collaborative work and um, there's a safe to support them and there's got sort of a wonderful muddy blog um, SLT you've got your own area so if you wanted to um, do some let's say assemblies outside they're all there if you wanted to do some um, top up post training staff meetings some staff meetings on what to wear in different weathers uh, that's all there as well um, so yeah, lots of assembly handouts and things like that there for SLT. And then over here are your resources. So we'll just head over here. Um, this is the um, uh, uh, early, uh, reception, sorry, early years area. So we've just started uploading some nature posters. So the early years have got some posters to display, some great literature and maths around in that areas and some knowledge in the center of the world. So there's some lovely things there. It's, it's spring as I talk, so there's lots of spring resources going up. All your new stuff comes down here. We upload daily, so we've got about around 600 resources right now. So there's more coming. And if you want any more, you can just pop on here and have a chat with one of our team and request resources that you want. Um, I mean, we do it by topic. So if there's we've got Romans or if you're doing Under the Sea, dinosaurs if you're doing plants and um, if you're doing water rocks just put that into the search bar up here and uh, the resources will come up and if you don't have them just request them it takes a couple of weeks to make um, but otherwise you're just going to your area of what you're doing let's say you've got a bit of science going on you go down here and uh, there's lots of different science. Uh, there's a man-made and natural Venn diagrams. Kids take that outside and try and sort um, materials out that way. Uh, got a coloring robin sheet, making natural butterflies if you're doing the life cycle of the butterfly. Um, life cycle of a broadbean, how you can do it outside and use natural resources to make it a bit more interactive. It's a fun one. Um, some mindfulness colouring sheets for Earth Day. Uh, we do lots of different days as well at Muddy Puddles. So we engage with all the typical ones like World Book Day, um, Comic Relief, um, and we also do our own, which is Bring Stick to School Day, Sunflower Day, Ditch the Plastic Day. Um, so if you wanted to engage with any of them, these are some really nice new Muddy Adjective games where the kids go outside and they have to look for adjectives to go on the A to Z sheet, with the Z being particularly difficult. We've got the new um, language resources coming out as well. So if they want to go on a scavenger hunt outside using German uh, and Spanish, and we've got French as well somewhere, then they can take these sheets out, click into one for you. Um, and it's got all words from nature and they have to go and find the item, draw it in and say which English word it is. So we work like some other popular uh, resource sites. Um, you just quickly download it, you just press it, download it and then your resource will pop up for you like that and you can print it out. And like I said, they're, they're all for the outdoors. 
Um, so there's no excuses with us. There's always something on there um, to be able to help you get outside. Um, so that's an example of one of our of one of our shoots there. So heading back to the site. Um, so like we said, there's um, all sorts on there uh, for you all to do. Um, uh, there's um, just going to a key stage and, and go for it. We've also got special needs as well. Um, so the special needs site has got all sorts of therapy and social, emotional and sensory work. So if you're working with particular children with certain needs, then um, these can all be very um, helpful for you. And they're all coordinated by Becky who is our special needs coordinator and she works in a special school um, up to 19 years so she's she's got a lot of her expertise in there uh, we also have the books and shops so if you want to be looking for things in specific then we have certain shops so if you wanted to get handbooks to you or resources then we do do them in physical format over here we've got audio books as well um, to support careers and guidance. We've got merchandise, training CPD webinars as well. If you're wanting some extra top ups, we've got outdoor posters and resources and metal signs if you're wanting to um, put a lot more nature outside through signage. And we've also got our published books as well there for you. So I hope that has helped you with a nice walk around the website and just giving you a flavour for what we are. We're all about the three muddy M's, which is connecting children with Mother Nature, more kids moving and mental health. All of our resources and our training is based around that. Um, so you are going to have a great day, trust me. You're really going to enjoy it. It's lots of fun. You're going to come out inspired um, and um, come out as forward thinking educators, really thinking for the future for our children. So we will see you then. Goodbye.